happening and the weaknesses of this movement is, 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 are still clear. And I think that these are the questions, the political questions. Now, there is another story and that we have to ask ourselves. Is this coming like this by accident? There are some questions. For example, what we know now, and this was said first in France and then confirmed in Washington, is that what happened with uh, uh, Ben Ali is that the decision for him to leave the country was taken in less than 48 hours. It was taken in Washington. It was taken in Washington and Petrus was in uh, touch with the foreign minister, the Tunisian foreign minister and the army commandment in Tunisia. In fact, he fell into a trap. They told him, you go to secure your family and you will come back. And in fact, they spread around the rumor, say, that his wife took half, one third of the money. You heard this story that he, she took the money. This was not true. It was just for the people to think that, in fact, they left knowing that they were leaving. It's not true. He, th he thought first that he was going to, to France and then to Cyprus, and then he ended in uh, Riyadh with the agreement, an agreement between Washington and the Saudi government. So the Americans were very quick to react as opposed to the, the Europeans. The, the, the thing which is really crazy is, is the absence of the European forces, and especially for uh, France, who, you know, this country was very much in touch with the Tunisian regime, supporting the Tunisian regime, and they were not following at all what was happening. They just tried to, to catch up afterward. But this was decided by uh, uh, the army. And the decision that the army should not be involved in the two countries, Tunisia in Egypt is an American strategy. Don't be involved, be the mediator. So once again, I think that no one can say that these movements were controlled, but they were having people going along. And I think that you cannot just think that the Americans or any other uh, 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 foreign uh, governments were in, was not involved in the process. And the second thing is that when you come to Egypt, I don't know if you saw this, this was on Al Jazeera. And by the way, the internet, you know, the, 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 the social networks and all this, we know how much it was important in the process. The people of the 12th of April who were involved, and, and, and we know now, and this was in one TV program in Al Jazeera. And we have to think about the role of Al Jazeera, the whole process, in Arabic and in English very huge, huge role. These people were trained in Serbia. They went to Serbia. They went to uh, the previous uh, Russian uh, uh, states in, in Caucasia. They were there. And, they, they, and this was all presented. And it was not only one year. They were trained for the, three, the last three years before the revolution in Egypt. And they decided it's going to be the police day when we have to celebrate we are going for this day. So they used this thinking this was the right time. But Al Jazeera's program was very good and interesting, but missing only one information. Is that they went also to the State Department in the States. It's the only, only country which is not mentioned there. And someone from there said, yes, we went to the State Department and we were also trained. Does it mean that it was controlled? I don't think so. I think that while it was not controlled, I don't think that the American administration was completely taken by surprise when it happened. So even what was said by uh, the President Barack Obama, something which was quite interesting. In fact, we had two channels of communication. He was saying at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, history is upholding. And then four hours later, Mubarak saying, I'm staying. So that he, he was not saying. Even in these clumsy statements that we had coming from the, State from the President of the United States of America, my question is still, it's as if we were playing with the feelings of the people and showing that the Americans were not at all in control, while at the same time in the army, 
some of the people who were dealing with the Americans and they were following is that what it, we know that the army is still very close to the American administration. This is clear in Egypt. You can't work with the American, with the uh, Egyptian army without knowing that the connections are very strong between. And this was the case for the last, for the last 40, 50 years now. That Sadat, and before this, just at the end of his, before he, were, he passed away, Nasser and Sadat, and then Mubarak. They were very close to the American. Uh, and then the army behind, the re behind him and supporting the regime were involved. So my point, why I'm talking about this, is that while we don't have a clear picture of what the opposition forces want, while the regimes, and this is why I call them unachieved revolution, even in Tunisia, and I think that Tunisia is much better today than Egypt. Egypt, we still don't know what is happening, and the army is still there. So with all these uh, unachieved revolutions, you can't uh, 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 just uh, uh, dismiss or, or neglect the Western factor uh, for two reasons, and we have signals here. The first one is Libya. Libya, of course, we, I was the first to say you cannot let, leave the people like this. They are going to be killed because he is, he is completely mad. He's going to kill them. So I was, when I was on the BBC, I was saying this. I said, something should be done. The no-fly zone, this is, something should be done. And I had journalists from the BBC saying, no, we shouldn't be involved. If you are going to be involved, it's going to be understood as the West is trying to uh, interfere. My position was quite clear, we have to do something. But at the same time, the true question is to do what? Uh, reaching which limits? And you remember, two days after it started, the Arab League saying, this was not what we agreed upon. So why in <coughs> Libya uh, we are not now involved? We know that there, are, there is oil, there are wealth there, that this has to be protected. What is the objective? Is it only to secure the opposition and to help the people to get rid of uh, Qaddafi? Or is there other plans? Other plans because there is not only one. Some